story of the day unfolding with Phil Mickelson, the biggest name in the field. An article in the Detroit News outlining Mickelson being allegedly cheated out of $500,000 back in 2007 because of his ties to a Gross Point bookie. Well, the news wrote an article about that that Mickelson did not enjoy reading, didn't enjoy seeing it. He's happy to be here at Detroit Golf Club, but outlined on Twitter and then again here in person why he's not happy about that article. It was so much effort for me to be here and to have that type of um, unnecessary attack. Not like I care. I mean, it happened 20 something years ago, but it's just the lack of appreciation. Yeah, I, I, I don't see that happening. I don't see me coming back now. I really liked what Rocket Mortgage had to ha, has really tried to do with this community and get involved. I felt like as the PGA champion, I would be able to bring some value and maybe help the tournament out. I feel that uh, Rob Snell made an article this week that was very opportunistic and selfish and, and uh, ir irresponsible. And, you know, I was looking at some ways that my foundation might be able to get involved. And when you have a divisive voice like that, you can't bring people together. It's very hard to bring people together. And Mickelson has been very open responding to a lot of people on Twitter. He said he has no plans to come back here. His schedule is jammed. After going three under here, he praised the grounds crew, said after all of the rain that they received, this course was not just playable, it was gettable. He blamed himself for not shooting a lower score, but again came back to that same factor. He was happy to be here for this tournament, but as far as his future in Detroit, maybe he'll be back at Warwick Hills for the Ally Challenge and the championships and the Champions Tour. But his plans in Detroit are exclusively just for this week. A bummer how it unfolded, but hey, we still have Phil at least on Friday if he makes the cut into the weekend. Our coverage is just getting started from out here at Detroit Golf Club. Fun to be out here. The first round's still going. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. Maybe in the future he'll have a change of heart. Maybe. Let's hope so. Yes. All yeah. right. Stay with 7 Action News as we get you ready for the Rocket Mortgage Classic. This weekend, it's our Teeing It Up in the D specials Saturday at 10 a.m. and Sunday at 8 a.m.